This morning, several bills are now on Governor Nathan Deal's desk for approval. One aims to crack down on distracted driving. Brandon Evans is live at the Georgia Welcome Center to explain this hands-free driving law. And Brandon, I see you're already buckled up and ready to go. Moving on to the topic of immigration, the Supreme Court has extended relief for Dreamers. So what do you think needs to happen for Congress to come to an agreement on DACA? The U.S. Fleet Forces Brass Band joining us live, a seven-member team. And we have Petty Officer Carl Schulte from Michigan. Michigan, by the way, joining us. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, oh you look are at that. natural. Look at that. You are natural. Uh, you know do what? you need a sub? I can do this. Well, we're told in about an hour, crews will be coming here to cut this tree into pieces. Take a look at this. It snapped right here at its base, crushed the family's SUV. Look at all the damage here on this window, and now the family's cat is taking a nap on top of the SUV. Don't I look fabulous? I can't pop it. Who knew, it's right? Maybe too loud. National bubble wrap. Ooh, there you go. Appreciation day. <laughs> Ta-da! Did you hear that? Da ding! I love that. That is a donation. So why did you decide to come on down here today? He's a cool little guy, but if you're interested in adopting Leon, you can stop by the shelter and fill out an application. And speaking of Baxter and so many other dogs, put your paws up. We have ooh, ooh, some doggy ooh, ooh. news this morning. Authorities say this monstrous storm is now responsible for at least two deaths. And right now, people along the Gulf Coast are waking up to destruction. Or you can be like Greg Funderburg, and when you see an alligator, you run for your life and say, I ran for my life, But you're going to be Jesus. like this. No, that's that's you. It looks golden. Looks I've like, never seen a bear that color before. Yeah, this is in the Netherlands. <laughs> it's probably dirty. It's Dutch. That's why it's blonde. <laughs> Coats for kids. It is here. It is happening this morning. This is an example of what we would love for you to donate today. A warm jacket, brand new to a child in need. My tie is all messed up. Here, let me fix it for you. There you go. All right, there you go. Up next, the power behind the punch. Oh, Urkel. Snap <laughs> when I snap do that. Oh, oh. <laughs> Now you did it. That's why you we almost have, hit me in the face. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you have Fat Tuesday the day before. Break me off a piece of that. Kid cat bar. Even if it's pink. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, we're, we're terrible. It's pollen. This is incredible. Ding, okay. ding, 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 ding. So for fans of Stranger <laughs> Things, this looks like the upside down. It's actually kind of creepy looking at this surveillance <laughs> video. Greg, you just told me you're not a fan of grilled cheese. I am not. What? No. I don't think we could be friends anymore. I'm did you hear him? He just said, ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Christmas. I like yeah. his sleigh too this morning. Look there at it this. Is. And President Trump now being criticized for calling Vladimir Putin to congratulate him on the phone for his reelection. Do you think that was appropriate? Now we want to show you some issues that the fire departments had this morning. Right here, you can see this long yellow tube. They had to stretch this water hose. 500 feet up this very steep driveway. He will be remembered at a state funeral at the National Cathedral later on this morning. Right now he's lying in state in the Capitol Rotunda. This was supposed to be until 7 o'clock this morning. The last few people are now filing out. On this day in 1968, an assassin shot and killed civil rights activist Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Brittany Martin is live in Chattanooga with how the scenic city in Memphis are now honoring Dr. King today. We are taking a live dive at the Tennessee Aquarium. Look at all the fish. They look so joyful. Absolutely. Not a care in the world. Yeah, no sharks. Actually, I do see a shark doo -doo, coming right doo -doo. there. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Spoke too soon. Yeah. Your dress almost matches our map here. I can't help but notice that. that. Whoa. So we got 40 days until the official start of uh, spring. So it'll be warm, but Final wet. Final countdown. <laughs> <laughs> Winter Olympics in 20 years. We wish them luck. They make it look wow. so easy. Ooh -wee. I always wanted a man to throw me around like that. <laughs> Take your love to new heights. All aboard. Toot toot. Yep, we're keeping this news train going this morning. Thunderbolts of lightning, very, very frightening me. Galileo. Now to Bradley County, where a sinkhole caused part of a daycare's foundation to collapse. News Channel 9's Taylor Stewart joins us live from the scene. So, Taylor, are all the kids okay? There's a lot of rhetoric coming from the White House mm -hmm. about attacking the media, that we're the enemy of the people. 
What do you think is the media's role then in covering politics? This morning we have live team weather coverage as we prepare for the brunt of Alberto's impact. We'll check in with Brandon Evans and Ali Levine in just a minute. But first, Storm Track 9's Aaron Thomas has a first look at what to expect for today. Rain, rain, go away. Hoping that works, but it probably won't. I can guarantee you <laughs> that it'll happen by Friday. So this process is pretty easy. You drove up, you parked, but you really don't even have to. We can actually run out to your car. You can roll down the window. We'll take the donation for you. There is a new print among us. Mm. Doo, 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 doo. Here Before he, here he. That, let's go to traffic first. It's time for air doo, in. Doo, doo, doo. <laughs> Thank you. I think wow. if my daughters ever said, Mom, I want to go to the Olympics, I want to be a curler, I say, here's the broom, go at it. <laughs> That's a good idea. That's a good idea. The Southeast Tennessee Human Resources Agency says their driver left this five year old boy seen right here on a special transit services bus. One family spoofed a Hollywood classic when setting up their holiday decorations. It was all fun and games until somebody called 911. It was me. I won. See you later. And you came Bye. back. And you came back to work. Yes, because I love working with you, Greg. The time is going back tomorrow night. We're finally going to get an extra hour of sleep. Woohoo! Can we, we all need a high five on that. Yes, we need that. Yes. A few local artists want to ring in the holidays with style, so we have So Chill and Darrell Woods here to talk more about the performance yes. called Winter Vibes. Winter vibes. Love it. <laughs> we have crews stationed across the Tennessee Valley, including crews working to keep people safe from the rising waters, and a sinkhole that shut down a daycare, forcing children. To to evacuate. On this week's Pay It Forward, we surprise the owner of a horse ranch who offers free therapeutic riding for children with disabilities. Right now we're showing you the family's two dogs. They're sitting and watching this entire scene unfold. Thankfully, they got out okay this morning. There were three dogs total. Again, Hamilton County Fire says that the cause of this fire was due to a heat lamp that was on the family's back porch. It was used to keep the dogs that are right here behind me warm. And I'm going to make you both an origami trophy. I love it. Thank you. Right now. <laughs> kind of like our Super Bowl trophy here. You here. Go. Da -da -da. It's fantastic. I love that it's folded in 42 places there, too. That's, mm -hmm. that's incredible. That's skill. 